how to make your customers remember you 25% or more. Like, are you serious? Like 25% or more? How can you measure? How can you measure uh, um, um, uh, the way that people remember about your brand and about your bank, right? And today I want to share with you a case study, another case study that I did to show you exactly how uh, big banks use the same campaign to increase the brand awareness and how people remember about their brand. Okay, so uh, quickly, um, some synopsis about um, the, the, the Capital One. So back in the mid-2000, they came up with, I mean, Capital One is, 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 is not, um, they only have like 29 million accounts and is, they haven't been able to, um, to expand hugely and they haven't executed a very sustained advertising campaigns. And that's when they launched the original What's In My Wallet campaign. And that literally in 2001, it took Capital One um, just, just one ad, one ad. And Capital One just became the household name and, uh, and, and they achieved 90% of the brand awareness and, uh, and, uh, and reached over 40 million um, new accounts. So banking on that success, in 2015, they came up with a campaign to really um, sort of reactivate because you know because what works you can continue to use what works right so that's why they want to bank on the existing campaigns on what's in my wallet but at the new twist based on um, the current social media platforms and that's what they call the wallet story campaigns okay on a wallet story what it means is that the objective is to redefining the what's in my wallet tagline, okay? And this campaign involved about five weeks of, of long using the user-generated content. Um, and, and so what happened is that Kepler One reached out to uh, several influen Instagram influencers, right? And then used their, um, their, 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 their fan power to, um, and then asked them to take photos. Right, basically document their uh, wallet stories, um, and then then use their content and post on Capital One uh, Instagram account. So I want to share with you several images that they took. Yes, for example, you can see um, the story of what's in my wallet, and you see this lady, and she's holding several some of the nostalgia. Uh, kind of moment that she has, and there you go. What's in my wallet? This is uh, the pictures of a boy in a baseball cap, and they want to travel. You know, and they put the the image of their favorite play to travel, and there you go. Those are, those are the um, several examples of of, of um, engaging uh, uh, photos, if you will, of how those Instagram influencers use based on their perception, based on their, how they understand about their brand, about what's in the wallet, and come up with those photos. And I want to share with you the result of the campaign by the end of five weeks. Oh, by the way, uh, I forgot to tell you more that um, besides Capital One, there are more and more brands are using and uh, leveraging the user-generated content. For example, uh, Warp, uh, Warby uh, Parker, uh, they also have their own um, campaign to ask people where their stuff and then take photos about that, right? And also face, uh, 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 um, uh, Starbucks also have a campaign, their own user-generated campaign to decorate, right? right? Decorate um, uh, the Facebook, uh, I'm sorry, decorate the, 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 the Starbucks cup and, and post it on Facebook, and post it on uh, Instagram, for example. So um, I want to share with you the, um, the result of the campaigns. Uh, in this campaign, um, Capital One, they boost Capital One ad recall by 16% among Gen, uh, Gen Xers and baby boomers. And people above 45, the ad recall is increased to 25%, and that's what I mean by 25% um, um, for a, a specific target market that Capital One did. And also, the brand favorability shot up to 3% for people between 21 and 24. So overall, I think this is a, 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 a very, very successful campaign that 
um, that they use uh, the new platform, new technology um, to really, um, to really uh, uh, reactivate the what's in my wallet moment, right? So I just show you the result um, of um, the Capital One um, wallet stories and how they use the user-generated uh, campaign to increase the brand awareness by over 25%, right? Now, I wonder if big banks knows how to do this. How come we don't just do exactly the same stuff? And that is exactly I want to share with you on how to build your own user-generated campaigns, okay? And that three, there are three steps involved. Step number one, planning, okay? First step in planning is that you need to determine again your product, what is the primary focus of the product that you want to talk about. Um, okay, and your target audience, and then your social media platform, you have to choose Okay, choose what is your target audience that you want to target? What is your number one social media platform? In those case studies that I showed you before, the social media platform that they use, the Instagram, right? So what is yours? Again, you need to pick your primary focus of that campaign to make sure that um, you have laser, you, 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 you can laser focus on the, the, on the strong point, the benefit, or what is the thing that really stand out of that product or the services that you want to talk about, okay? In this case of, of Capital One, they want to talk about what's in their wallet tagline, okay? For Wabi Parker, they want to talk about the product when people wear the, 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 the glass. That's when, you know, they can instantly recognize the product, right? Okay, for example, for the study of, for, for the case of Starbucks, cup art, right? And as you can see, people start to decorate, buying stuff to put colors in, the, in their cup, and that's really awesome when they share the, the end result of the cup, right? That's exactly what you really want. In case of Wobby Parker, the guy put on the class, right? <laughs> okay, step two about launching. It's time to launch when you when you did your, your research and, and, and do all of, of the, the, um, the homework, time to launch, okay? And you can launch, like I said, pick one social media platform. In this case, you can use Instagrams, and you can use many things that you want. And then, like I said, Starbucks use Instagram once again because Instagram is a perfect platform to share visual stuff, right? What else? Same thing with Wobby Parker. They, they use, in this case, they use uh, Twitter, right? Twitter is also another awesome platform to share, um, to share story, to share images as well. What else? Step three, spread the words. Okay, now you got a campaign going on. You got, so it means that you need to, you need to do, tweet, uh, you need to do promote, promote, and promote because more and more people need to know about the campaign so that they can't add their own user-generated content because this is exactly the theme of the campaign, user-generated content. So the more, the more that you, the more effort that you put into this to promote, the campaign, the more result you can get, get out of that. And don't forget that you can use your own, um, that you, you, can, you can reach out to your own customers, you can use email marketing, email your subscribers, you can email your partners to help you promote and help you do, all, all, do a lot of heavy lifting to make the user-generated uh, campaign a success. I wish you the best.